Hello, and welcome to Controllers Tech. Few months ago I made a video about interfacing DS18B20 temperature sensor with SDM32. Some of you guys still couldn't make it work due to some problems. This video will take a completely different approach towards the same sensor, and also we will see how to use multiple DS18B20 sensors using only single wire. We will use the UART to do the communication, instead of the timer that we used last time. Well, I couldn't figure out the process, and therefore I am using a pre-existing library for it. It's right here, you can check it out if you want to read the details. This library uses standard peripheral driver, and I have modified it to use the hull. I hope the author is okay with it. So today we will see how to use UART using this library, and interface multiple DS18B20 sensors with the SDM32. Let's start with Cube IDE and create a new project. I am using STM32 F103 controller. Give some name to the project, and click finish. First of all we will set up the clock. I am using external high speed crystal to provide the clock. The blue pill have 8 MHz crystal on board, and I want to run the system at maximum 72 MHz clock. Now go to the UART, and enable the half duplex mode. We will keep everything same here, just go to the NVIC, and enable the global interrupt. You can see the half duplex mode uses single pin for communication. This is it for the setup, click save to generate the project. Before we go any further, let's see the connections. You can see here, the two DS18B20 are connected in a way that they're all three wires are attached to each other. There is a 5 kilo ohms resistor connected between the signal wire and the VCC. I am going to provide the common 3.3 volts to both of them, along with a common ground. And the signal pin is connected to the PA9, the UART TX pin. This is it for the connection, let's see the code now. First of all we will copy the one wire library files into our project. Now pay attention to the changes we need to make here. Open the onewire.c file. Change the UART instance that you are using. I set up the UART1. Now define the maximum number of devices you have connected. I am using two devices. We need to define this in the onewire header file also. Make sure you make the changes at both places. We also need to configure the interrupt file, that we will do in a while. Alright now come to the main file, and include the one wire header file here. There is a float variable defined in the one wire source file. This variable will store the temperature values, and this is why we need to define the same in our main file also. But define it as the external variable, as it's already defined somewhere else. Now in the main function, we will call the getWrongID function. This function will scan for all the connected devices, and sort them according to their IDs. Now inside the while loop, we will call the get temperature function to read the temperature from the connected sensors. These temperature values will be stored in the variable we defined in the beginning. You should give a delay of at least one second before reading it again. Now the final thing we need to do is, modify the interrupt callback function. So go to the interrupt.c file. Here we will first include the one wire header file.
In the one wire header file, there is a function defined, OW read handler. We will call this function in the UART interrupt handler. Make sure you keep it in the user code 0, as it needs to be called before the other interrupt handler. This is it. Now let's build and debug the code. I have added the temperature array in the live expression. You can see here, we are getting two different readings. So both the sensors are working fine. Now I am going to hold one of the sensors. Notice the change in the reading. You can see the temperature of the first sensor is rising, but the second one is unaffected. So here we have, the two temperature sensors, connected on the same pin, and working as expected. You can connect up to 64 sensors in this mode. There is one more thing I want to mention. The function getromID is responsible for scanning the connected devices. Here this structure stores the information about the device. Let me show this in working. We hit the breakpoint, let's check the dev info. Here you can see the information about this particular device. The 28 represents the type of device. This is defined in the header file. After this we have the ROM ID for this device. If we run the code again, this time we have another device, with different ROM ID. This function sorts out the devices based on their ROM IDs. The lower the ID, the lower the rank of the device. The temperature array shows the temperature according to the rank allotted by the ROM ID function. So basically, if you want to fix the sensors to show the temperature of some particular things, you either need to know their ROM IDs, or you can mark them by first measuring the known temperatures. This is it for the video. I hope you understood the process. As I mentioned before, try to use the USART and not the UART for this tutorial. There are some registers involved in the source code, so I don't know if the UART will work for sure. But I have tested it with different controllers, and it works pretty well with the USART. This is it for today. You can download the code from the link in the description. Leave comments in case of any doubt. Keep watching, and have a nice day ahead.